So we're going to be looking at the Smartify's node library, specifically just at the node groups, and we're going to do things to my ship. That sounded weird. So these ships, obviously from my live stream, as well as being playing around with them, we just have a standard texture that I've created to put on this. However, we want to kind of like add a little bit more oomph to it. So one thing I'm going to add in is a maybe an ambient occlusion mask. And so what that'll allow us to do is if we grab that there and then we just add in a mix color, let's dump the mask into there, dump the color into there. And then what I like to do to make sure that I've got the ambient occlusion in the right places, I'll pick the top one and we go bright pink and we can see now that the white bits is the ambient occlusion. So let's undo that. Let's select the second layer. And if we go pink, we're going to see all these little instances of where a bit of ambient occlusion is sitting. Now, obviously we can start changing these settings around a little bit and get it looking a bit more darker. And so now that we've done that, um, I'm going to bring this color down a little bit. The pink can become maybe like a dark brown. And now you can see how we've very quickly just thrown on a little bit of ambient occlusion through there. And this is where we can control all those settings. So if we want to go a little bit bigger, oh geez changing the contrast there, the scale of it, even coming into the no, 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 I can't say it. Noise, noise, <laughs> far out. That's, that's just one aspect there. If we want to go onto the engines, I'm just going to select our blue panel. Let's maybe do an edge mask. No, let's do number five and we'll do an edge mask and we'll slap that in there. Let's now do a mix color, put you into there, please. That goes into there. And then we're expecting pink to be all across these. These were our edge. We can see that they're too big. Let's bring it back. I think I got it the wrong way around. Go this way. Yeah, maybe let's just increase that. So we can see here that we've got AO based Eevee compatible. So we know that it's going to be working in Eevee, which is great. However, I don't really touch EV too much. Let's go something like that. And now we're just adding a whole bunch of grime to this ship, which is actually making it look quite nice. It's actually not bad. Now I would say, let's do a comparison between these two ships. However, they've got the same material setup, So that's not really gonna work. So this is what it currently looks like. And this is what the comparison looks like of before we started the, mm. So we've just scratched the surface of what Smartified nodes can do. We've got a whole bunch of land stuff that we can do. We've even got metalware that we can throw on. So let's go into smart materials. And then there's metal materials we can throw on like so. Ooh, that was a rusty one. Let's grab this metal surface into surface. Go away. Sorry, wrong one. This one here. Let's go ahead, make that a bit brighter. I'm going to bring the roughness up specularity down we could probably make the panels a little bit bigger and then you can see that we've now got a brand new texture on this and you can go through the process of baking it yeah something different